Hi everyone, welcome back to my design videos. Just hanging out here a little bit at the bank. <laughs> Saying hello. Okay, so today I'm going to move on from this area that you last saw with us in the last video. And we're going to do this area here. And possibly Franklin as well. It just depends on how long this might take us. Uh, I know that Gamer Mum might be stopping in, so she'll probably pop in at some point and give us a hand, give us a hello, which will be amazing. All right, so I'm thinking what I want to do here is to frame the the pond here. Like I do like a bit of framing, and I think that'll just go down really well. And I'm thinking of using the small metal gates because I think anything else like hedging or any solid fencing is going to just detract from the view. But I'm going to go find some metal gates. I might have some already or I might need to make them. I hope everyone's enjoying the designing so far. I'm getting lots of ideas. Okay. Let's see what we can find. Do we have any? We do. Look at that. I don't want a gate on it because I don't want to have actual access to it. I just want to have the, um, the area fenced off to keep it safe. I don't think that's going to be enough to go around. Let's see what we need to actually make it. We'll make some more before we go up. I still haven't cleaned up this. Okay, we'll do that now. Oh, I have my mouse wheel back too, guys. So yay, scrolling. <laughs> no, just some tin sheep. Cool. Feeling like a bit of a lazy day today here at home. What about you guys? Well, we'll make some. All good. I know I've only got um, those two areas left in the actual town centre, but there's going to be, I'm going to go through it and also do a video with a whole lot of touch-ups just to fine-tune all the designing. And I'm also going to um, be doing a lot more renovating on the island. That's by no means going to be the end of these videos try and think talk and do it at the same time <laughs> obviously not my forte in a way Ooh. oh get him in there spec there you go those tin sheets nope we get them on all mills. Brain will start kicking in at some point soon, I'm sure. Okay, let's see how much that makes. Oh, that should be enough. Oh, no, they only had that. Okay. One more round of that, I think. Oh, what are you doing in here? You're being chased by a dog in here. <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay. Distractions. That should be eight. Do that two more times. Okay. Go have a look at how the tin fencing is going to look there. 
And I think it's going to be pretty good. He's still chasing them, are you? You're going to make a mess of my place, aren't you, little doggy? Oh, you've cornered yourself now. Look away, everyone. <laughs> it's too late. It's going to be over and done with. <laughs> Let's pop these down along the outside. Is that going to be too prisoner-like? Should we maybe do the wooden ones? Let's do half and half. See which one looks better. I'll do that there. Just go grab those other ones. A long walk now from, the, from where we started. Oh, what are you doing, doggy? See if we've got any in the way in here. Okay. What? Still going. I had a crocodile spawn in here in the last one. It scared me so much. Doesn't look like there's one now though, which is good. The fish. I'm thinking of updating this area. Although, I mean, I do like it. It's a bit unique, but we'll see. I want to keep my quarries and my mine. So we've only got seven of those as well. I think it's this one. Oh, what do I need for this? Benefix resin. Do I still have it? I know. That's right, I saw the spin effects over at the other place, didn't I? Where we are currently building. I have not sorted this out. I need Nanny Og to come back in, sort my boxes. <laughs> or not be lazy and just do it myself. I hear that game, Mum. I reckon that's what you're thinking right now. Oh, my poor animals. Oh my gosh, you're still in here. Maybe they want to stay. Yeah, I think the spin effects was in one of these. It was. Beautiful. Um, what do we need for that? We need to get the stone. A lot of running back and forth to make things, but it's all worth it in the end when you make that design just click for you. You're like, yes, I'm so glad I did that. I still got, I got a heap of stone on me. Which is fine, it's good. That's what I want. Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's do this. Thankfully this part's nice and quick. Be enough. Okay. Oh, I always, always make too much of what I need. Oh, you're 
still alive. Well done. We could also try out some of this one as well to tie in with rain. Let's have a look. getting the feel for this all right so now we get to see three different aspects of it I know we've got lots of other fencing but I really don't think any of the others would suit quite as well and you know what I'm actually thinking this one right here is the winner I like the way it's light it sort of pops around it doesn't make the whole area heavy and we want it to be light because it's got that tropical vibe to it Plus, it also brings in those um, design elements from rain over here and pulls that through. So I'm going to pull up the rest of the other fence and put this one down. And that's what I mean by it being worth it in the end. When you actually get it and you see it and you're like, oh yeah, definitely that one. Definitely that one. And I know I had it all along, but that's all right. <laughs> Okay, we don't have enough of them, so we'll have to make some more. But yeah, no, that's definitely and it. And it blends so much easier too. It's blends so well with the cobblestone and the white picket fences. Yeah, I like that one. All right, so I'm going to go grab some more of those and we'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, well, we're back now. We've got some more fencing, so I'll pop that all in. there we go I like it I think once we get a couple of things in this area here it's going to really help the look yeah I think that goes well all right so for our trees we had this naturally grow up here which is good actually because I don't mind it being there I think what we need to do is bring one of these guys through to perhaps over here pop it in the corner I think we've got some seeds left on us we do okay put that there so we've got that one that one the gums over there gum there gum right here so we don't want any more gum here we'll probably pop the gum tree here near franklin to tie all that in let's go see what seeds i've got in the boxes down here we'll grab some fruit trees too or oh, fruit to make fruit trees anyway oh you're back again are you doggy okay Bananas, bananas, these guys. Oh, I heard that. Ooh. Feel kind of bad. <laughs> kind of want to save it. Might want a flower pot somewhere. Have to get some more of those. Oh, there's the gum. Burn seeds. Stairs. Now, with him, we might end up going there. That one. No. Where are all our flower beds? Did we use them all up? No, there they are. Okay. Well, 
love it how it's like <laughs> goes from John who's got a little bit of red over here to just an explosion of red through here and it tapers out through rain it just touches through here and even less in here so it just sort of pulls it through but tapers on off and looks looks really good at least I believe so okay so let's pop this gum down here so I think we're going to need to be able to see it to help finish off um the area that we're working on right now okay now this is the entry to our town so i guess we kind of do want something in here i'll leave that square there free but we do need something in the corner here and I think it's going to be maybe an apple tree with a couple of wattles. Yeah, let's go that. We do want that. And do we have the wattle vases on us? No, I have to go find them. Okay. Or no, you don't do the plants. We have, oh, we've got grass seeds down in there. So your things won't plant if you don't pick up what's already in the hole. Which is a little annoying sometimes, but... All good. Okay. Should be quite nice there. We might order this with the wattle as well. It'd be a different type of tree, but maybe I need to make the design completely different and we'll have a look at that once we do the whole spam sleep and get everything all matured. Yeah. A three spot. Hmm. I say maybe put a chair, but then there's this spot here that's going to be empty. So maybe not. Maybe just leave it. Leave these as open. Yeah. Alright, in here. Do we leave it? Do we put something in? I'm thinking perhaps a banana tree and maybe a chair or two. Let's go check our benches, see what we've got. I end up having a bit of a sleep too, because it's starting to get dark again. And I don't want that too dark for you guys. Yeah, I brought a bit out. <laughs> we had the sleeping bags, uh, sleeping bags glitch in the last Hello. video. Oh, hey, it's Gamer Mom. She did end up joining us. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you? Good. Are you coming on in to join the designing? Sure. Awesome. I'll wait for you at the town hall. And I'll show you what we've been up to. Here she is. Here I come to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling people oh that you God. might jump in, so it's good to have you. Oh my goodness, I have so much stuff in my pocket too. So I oh will give God. you a crap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at you. 
I know. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I've been working here just this um, last little bit. Fenced in the in the pond area and planted some trees. And I just grabbed some benches to put down. But we'll get you sorted first. Run, run, run. I'm gonna have to go I can't pick wait up. for the update. I, I know. Wait. I'm gonna be doing so much redesigning when the update comes out. <laughs> I know. Are these empty? Yes, they are. So you can use these two here. Oh, did I lose you? Yeah, I'll find you. Over here. Is that coming? I'm going the right way, am I? I don't think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just all through here. Let's see. Okay. Where's she at? Let's go on the map. Oh, there she is. Yay! So these two wooden okay. crates here are empty and you can use them all you like. Okay. Easy way to get back to where we're building is to go right from where you are, straight up the cobblestone road and through the animals. And ignore all the on the ground. <laughs> so when the update comes out, what are what are the things that you're going to be doing? The oh, most? probably using that marble floor and putting in the paper daisies. I'm really excited about those two. Did I get yes, the interest? And I the did. waterfalls. Oh, the waterfalls. Oh, my. I have a huge plan for the waterfalls. Yeah, I've got a huge idea for that. Yeah, I can't wait for the It's going to be a big either. feature. Um, oh. No, but I might put a chair there. Single chair? Yeah. It's a really good idea. What sort of single chair would we use? Um, if I'm There's using. Wooden yeah, I was thinking maybe I need to change the iron bench to couch and do the wooden chair instead. I think that might be a better idea. Let's see what we've got in these boxes over here. Got so much from all the different designing. It's just uh, got so much mixed up everywhere. Yeah, it's there's just there's so much furniture too. Let's see. Uh, I wonder if we'll get any new furniture. Oh, I don't know. I'm looking forward to the new NPC as well. Yeah, I can't wait till we see how we're going to get the coffee and all that stuff. I hope it's hot chocolate, not coffee, but it's probably coffee. <laughs> Is that hot chocolate? I don't know. I'm just, I, I don't drink coffee, I don't so I'm like, that'd be hot chocolate. We might get both. Yeah. Got a lot of tables out here. There's a dark wooden seat. And a wooden seat. Do you want those? That's, yeah. Those are exactly what I'm looking for, yes. Okay, I All grabbed right. them. I'll let you bring them. Oh, that's not what I meant to do there. Well done. I'll probably pop them there with a fern vase in front or in between. So what would you like to work on today? Uh, I, I don't. Can I, give don't you, you I can give you a bit of an area in here or I could give you somewhere else in the town. Doesn't matter to me. Okay. 
Oh, you want these? I'll just grab them off you here. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> do I have room? Yes, I do. Okay. Hang on. Why is it not? Excuse me. Is it glitchy on you? It's not letting me. Hang on. Let me see if I can do this again. You just plop them down if you like. That's what I'm trying to do, but it won't uh, let me. Can you drop them? Uh, I can do this. You'll just have to pick them up. Oh my god, how many did you bring? <laughs> well, I didn't know how many you wanted. Why do I have so many? But is this the ones you wanted? Um, yeah, I was looking for a double as well. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Game of <mom>. all <laughs> Alright, so what, what are about... You... Hmm? Oh goodness! No, doggo! No, 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 no! He's a good, he's a good dog. Yeah, but I uh, grabbed the fence by accident. Oh! <laughs> I didn't want him to escape. I Escapey. see. Escapey. Escapey. Yeah. Um. Do you did you finish that at the docks? The captain. I did not. I haven't oh. touched it. Okay. Maybe I can go piss around with that if you want, or do you want me to do something over there? Oh, it's entirely up to you. Wherever you feel like building, you just go for it. Go find a couch. That's the wings. Let's see if I can I think everybody that's been watching these design videos are probably begging for me to clean up my animals because <laughs> I keep flying through them and it's just all overgrown and full of poop and eggs and shame on you. I know. I can't say that. Ah, dark wooden couch. That's what I wanted. Um, so there's still a whole heap of stuff out in the crates out there as well. So I haven't cleaned up anything. Surprise, surprise. Imagine that. <laughs> I know, right? I'm telling Nanny Og. <laughs> oh, I'm already enough trouble as it is. Oh, uh -oh Franklin likes the pond. Oh, you know, I just exist in my messy, chaotic way. Franklin, yeah. I need you to move. Franklin! Thank you. I think that'll look cute once that banana tree's up. Yeah, it looks really cute, everything you've done. It looks so good. Yeah, it's not too bad. Although, I'm a bit... Oh, this is a bit annoying, isn't it? Walk up here. That's going to be off-center stairs. Hmm. I think something's gonna have to happen here. Uh, I hate where it's off centered. And you have to change like... everything. Oh no. Alright, I'm just gonna have to take a little bit of the tropics away there. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't panic. Panic. Um, okay. Just gonna shorten that fence there a little bit. And then... Put away some... Oh my god, I got so much stuff on me. I'm glad you're liking that, Franklin. Have a seat, enjoy. Oh my goodness, I went the wrong way. <laughs> It's easy to do, especially right now with everything being changed around. Yeah, I don't know your island now. Um, what? Get, it's like the labyrinth in here. Get lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
and there's so much to I fix really, up. I really like how you use the gates as a fence. That is so cute. Yeah, I think I originally got that idea from Reaps. Yeah, when I was yeah. doing my um, my docks out there for the aquarium. Yeah. So much inspiration for so many different places now. It's sort of like, now where did I get that one from? <laughs> and now it kind of runs in together anymore. Yeah. There's so many good ideas. Everybody's coming up with so much wonderful content, you know, to go through. And oh, it's so good. I'm really glad though. I mean, it's so good to see. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Wait until the waterfalls and stuff comes out. That's oh, gonna be. It's crazy. gonna be insane. I know. I'm not a huge. I don't build on a really big scale. So if I build something, it's usually a more, like, a smaller, more compact version of it so like the small theme park or the small whatever's instead of the big grand uh, like stadiums and everything <laughs> so i can just imagine all these really massive massive waterfalls gonna come out i'm gonna be like i have my cute little waterfall right here <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to make a big one we'll help i'll think about it <laughs> I do have an idea in mind though of the shape and everything that I want to do it in. But that's thanks oh, yeah. to Naniog. She gives me some really good ideas from the waterfalls that she builds. Oh yeah. She has really pretty ones. She does. What did I come okay. here for? Lighting. Um, yeah, so guys, I'm just using the copper lights again as well. I want to keep the same sort of theme running through, otherwise it can make it feel a little bit disjointed going from section to section. Even something as little as lighting. So pop them up there for him. And to tie the red through, we do have an apple tree here. And I do believe I'm going to need to put some bottle brush maybe over here. Maybe I'll frame this tree with a bottle brush. Or yeah, maybe that would work. So we've got the bottle, 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 and then some bottle brush here. Yeah, let's do that. Do I have the seeds on me? I do. Yay. If you need anything at all, just give a shout, but you should be able to find most things. Yeah. Oh. My goodness, I feel like I haven't played Dinkum in so long. I've forgotten how to well, button. Well, it has been quite a while that you've been, um, you know, needing know. to deal with other things, so. Yeah, but I'm just kind of glad it's all over. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Long trek, but done and dusted now. Yeah. What is the name of that uh, little table that uh, you can put stuff on? It looks like a, a shelf for a store, you know, or a table for the store. You mean the one that you looks know? like it's got a little bit of a cut thing cut out in the middle? Yeah. That's yeah. the minimalist, I think. Is it the minimalist? I think so. Huh. Could be wrong, but I do think so. I mean, I don't know. I was, that's why I was asking. Yes, it is. <laughs> there you go. There we go. It's the bit minimalist bedside table. Sweet. Um, I need some of those. And the oh, I've done those ones over there. Maybe I should do these ones. The palm wood. Let's check that out. All right, so bring our flowers through. We're already bringing our wattle and our bottle brush. So that's good. And we've got our apple tree to bring the fruits. Apple and banana. 
enough of those trees there. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with how it's all coming together in here. Oh, what did I do then? Thing. So did you enjoy the um <laughs> the new game stream, even though it was a bit a bit laggy yeah. to start with? Yes. I I really enjoyed it. It's good. It seems like it's gonna be a Oops. good game. I think it definitely will be. Don't worry guys, I'm not going anywhere. Like Dinkum's still gonna be a good focus for me. But I can't help myself. There's just so many games. And so many good ones coming out. Okay, so this, this is all naturally grown up here, so I didn't plant any of these. But because these purple flowers have come up the front here, plus the bluebell, whatever they're called, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I won't use it in the front like I normally would. Probably go for mm, the red. That's probably going to hit off oh, the wattle. We'll see what that looks like once that's all grown up. And then switch to these guys and the pink in the back. like that and I'm thinking that the palm wood benches will look better here simply because I know that there's a lot of palm around but because we've used this seating over here it might just be better to use the wood rather than the wood and the iron maybe we'll see I do think I'm going to put yeah, put some cobblestone underneath though. So pop that back up and go get the cobblestone. 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 Yeah. I can already see like a few <laughs> dozen different little touches that I'm going to do when I want to right back through to get more stuff. And I'm like, oh, that should have been that way. Or I need to put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> that, that happens to me all the time. I always change stuff around. Or, oh, the daisy's going to look good there. <laughs> yeah. It's always so hard to, like, just, you know, you, you do something and you like it, but then you get something new or you, you realize you have yeah. this or that, and then you're like, oh, no, I need to do it this way. So, yeah, it's, it's, always, it's always just, you know, fun to... To try it different ways. Absolutely. You know, there's never really a right or wrong, you know. I 100% agree. That's what I like to tell everybody too, like, don't be scared to experiment with stuff. Pull it all up, change it all around. It's no big deal. I mean, in the end, you're still getting to play the game and having fun. I mean, what else are you going to do in Dinkum other than spend time exploring it and seeing what you can do? That's the, that's the fun aspect of it. So when it comes to design, it's no different. I mean, throw a whole heap of ugly things together. What you think is going to be ugly, you might be surprised. Yeah. I know I have been. I might put that. Yeah, something like that. Now, move this mower. Oh. Yeah, done well. Hey, okay, Mama, I've got a mower. You got a mower? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Are you going to mow? No, I just moved it. <laughs> oh. Just moving. Well, at it. least I'm, I'm out of the way. <laughs> well and truly, where are you working on anyway? Let's have a look on the map. Uh. Out at the docks. Yeah, out the marina. Yeah. Not docks, marina. The marina. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm thinking we've got a strip here we can do something with. Do we want to, you know what, I'll pull those water elements together by putting another fountain here. This one will sit just flush with the ground. So that one's sunken over there, that one's lifted up there. So if we just sort of put this flush on the ground, it'll make like a tier all the way down, which is pretty cool. Gotta get some 
separate tiles for that. And a fountain. So I'll organize that, guys, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I did make everything, but I do need to head out to the marina because it sounds like Gamer Mum's been having a little bit of fun out here. We've got to go check something out. It's not my fault. It's not your fault? <laughs> That's so what's happening in here? Yeah. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, it, <laughs> it didn't quite get placed right. And no. I was just like, oh my goodness. It's got the bush sit. inside. Yeah. That would look really cool if it was um like somewhere where you could put like chairs around it or something to block the view of the actual pot, the flower pot. And then it'll just yeah. look like this um CBD bush in with this with the stingray. I wonder if you put it on, well, no, if you put it on two, you won't be able to see the stingray at all. It may not place, so. it. maybe it needs the table to place it. Oh, that's kind of funny. But, there you yeah, go, guys. Kind of cool. <laughs> kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I can pick it up. Yeah. I yeah? Can pick it up. Good. <laughs> all right, so we'll go back over here with our fountain now. <laughs> We're going to need some little lighting inside here, too, I think. Yeah. Franklin, you're in my way again. Fancy that. Always Franklin. Thank you. I know, right? Um, I think maybe it should be this one. Yeah. Okay. Pull those up. Or, I won't. We'll make a feature out of that. Awesome. So, fountain, fountain, fountains. That looks good. Okay, so what sort of feature should I make out of this? So. I wish that we could get like a barrel and be able to put um, fishing poles in it to like put on our marinas and docks. That and stuff. would be cool. Maybe at some point we will be able to. Well, I'm just going to dump some stuff right here. I just want to get this thought in. I have a bit more of an idea and I kind of want to move that fountain back. That's better. I'm going to put a couple of chairs and phone bars or something in there. Or bring that wattle through and put a wattle vase in between. Yeah. Brain's ticking. <laughs> So if we have that there and a couple of seats. Should we frame them? That's like maybe a bit too much. That might be a bit too much. Should have something, but I'm not sure what. Hey? Sometimes you can do too much. Sometimes you can't. I mean, yeah. You know, it, you gotta find a happy medium sometimes. That's right. Sometimes the least that you do is better than. Well, what I much. might actually do, guys, is I'm going to do that spam sleep so that I can see how the wattle and the bottle brush are interacting with the whole area before I add in any more wattle or any sort of side pieces that might clash. So bear with us, guys, and we'll be back in a minute. And we're back. Everything's grown up and I already looking at it going, I want to change it. Because <laughs> I don't like so much yellow here. And I also think, I don't mind this little corner here. It doesn't look too bad with the red. But that's too much 
of the bottle for me for it to sit easy so and I might even take this tree out and make it a gong dong and put one of those trees perhaps just down here to tie it all in that's what I'm thinking is going to happen so let's have a look anyway you can always put it back Put it back. Put, Put it back. back. <laughs> like, no, don't destroy it. You shall see my vision, goddammit. <laughs> what if I don't wanna? I'm just kidding. You have no choice. <laughs> Fine. I shall tape your eyelids open and make you watch. <laughs> no, I don't know. That's a bit extreme, but you know. <laughs> I, I tried to do that once when I was young. Actually, type, tape your eyelids open. Yeah. <laughs> Try. <laughs> it didn't work. Oh my well, gosh. You know, you didn't want to be the first one to fall asleep at a slumber party. You know how that goes. Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm going to have to think on that one a little bit, see what I do want to put there. Do I have the fern vases on me still? Yes, I do. Oh, no, I definitely want to take at least one of them out. Which one? Possibly this one. wish we had like the bottle brush in the vases or the we can put them in the flower beds yeah that would be really nice wouldn't it yeah I'd certainly take the complication out of things I kind of want to get rid of that bottle altogether just not happy with it guys it's gonna have to go I'm a bit sad about, but that's okay. I think I made a mistake here too, so. Did you? Well, no, I mean, just, I was looking at it and I'm like, something's just not flowing right. It is supposed to be kind of like a store, kind of. So, I gotta switch some things right. out. It's gonna be a bit there. That blah. I can English really well today. Um. Thinking. Might have to do that. All right. Oh. Try and think on the fly, but it doesn't yeah. always work out. <laughs> well, you know, that happens that way sometimes. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. Little puppy dog in the background there. Yeah. That's the babies. Oh. Rotten, as they are. Rotten. <laughs> of course. See, that's going to offset that. I do need to incorporate the bottle, though, so maybe that? I think that's better. Remove you. I didn't pick up the benches. I'm going to do that. I'll tap, tap, tabba. Walking along those cobblestones. Where did I put them? There they are. Okay, so if I'm to put these, oh, this is going to be a pain. 
here. And I was thinking the lighting. I'll go grab the lights. Which one are they in? I think I saw more. Oh, they're on me. So, okay. <laughs> I hate it when I do that. I'm looking for something and it's bloody in my inventory. It seems to always happen. Yeah. I think in the end we'll end up popping some garden lights in through the pond. I do like the garden lights. I just sometimes wish they were either softer or brighter. Yeah. Depending you where know. you put them, they just need that little bit of, yeah. Yeah. yeah I think I'm going to be happy with that. I'm not happy with you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> not <laughs> you. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll put some flower beds around you. Which I put down, of course. Is that going to be too much? Let me cover it all up. Oh, it's not too bad there. Let's put the ferns in. Oh, that's better. Still has the sprigly yellow coming through, but it's all mostly covered up, which looks a damn sight better than what it did. Oh, look, those purple flowers also pull through. That's a good one. Awesome. Happy with that. Now, what over here is going on? So I think we're almost done in this section. Just stare at it for a second, figure out what we might need. I think I want to put like the festoon lights at the front here or something. I love those too. I might have one in the boxes down there. Go have a look. I'm going to go source some things, guys. So I'll, we'll be back in a minute once I've got everything together. Okay, guys. So after a few sleeps, a bit of thinking and a bit of fiddling, um, I sort of figured out this area. I'll just walk you through a couple of changes I made. With the white picket fences here and needing to make this a focal point because it is the entry I did have to take them out and sort of shift everything over one side just one square over to the right on this side just because it was off center and it did not look good at all I put those festoon lights in I decided to move this seating around just a little bit and popped a couple of a um, couple of the bushes in and the table it seems to have come together a lot better I know it kind of might look like it's missing something here and here, but I think even something as simple as, say, bringing that in one, which frame it off, but I do like how open it is. All right.
right so that is basically that area finished there are bananas that'll come up here of course and condongs that will form on that tree i'm happy with a little seating area in here i could square it off with the cobblestone but i think leaving it with that little edgy design is probably i don't know just a little bit more different um in here the only issue i have is just with this fencing here so i might actually bring this fence forward like that yeah that's a lot better and i'll eventually just turn that bit of grass into tropical grass so if we have a look at it as a whole we come over this way you can see how the water features are brought through from the back and from the front here how the trees and the gum trees have come through and subtly faded away at the front just to make a more um I guess it's a more subtle, more elegant, clean entryway. These trees in the back, these gum trees will be gone because there will be roads and stuff like that leading up to the marina and fishing area up there. So those gum trees really need to, to come down. So they won't be there too much in. Um, we did bring the red through so and settled all of that out by just putting a little bit in over here. You can see that and basically just carried the same lighting and the same flower design so it all matched in and was a bit more cohesive to the whole build um, just as with the brickwork from here we got that to come through by putting a little bit of brick tiling down underneath the fountain over here and now we'll be free to do whatever we want in with franklin because we have all the elements already here and he's pretty much a wild card <laughs> but that will be for next time but now let's go check out what gamer mum has been doing up there see what she's come up with i think um, i've got it the way i want it yeah i'm a bit interested to see actually i mean because it's not supposed to be like too spiffy because it is just a marina so it is that's right you know. all right so we've got go our ahead. let's go have a look oh this is looking really good yeah i like how this has come together i love the pirate because I, that was my whole um feel of it myself for um for the marina was it was this you know needed a pirate ship and stuff like that so i like that if you get right at the right angle when you come up to it, it looks like, you know, you got the pirate hat and the the jacket, you know. Oh, yes. Look, it looks like. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> Kinda, that's I was trying to make it look like, you know, here's the whole outfit. I wish oh. we had shelves we could put on the wall. That would yeah, be nice. that'd be really good. A barrel of rum, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm impressed. Good job. Thank you. It suits the marina well. And don't forget, guys, we're going to have this black road that comes all the way through to connect the town and everything else that's happening. There is so much building to do yet. So, so much. But I won't forget to take you guys along with me. Don't worry. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to call it there. I had a great time doing this little bit of designing with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you have any comments or suggestions or questions don't hesitate to you know reach out you can find me on the discord or even leave a comment on youtube and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button all right everybody stay amazing now bye